how to add Solana network to MetaMask wallet and what you need to know. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the Solana network and how you're going to be adding it to your MetaMask wallet in the easiest way. Now, MetaMask, as we all know, is one of the top most used wallets in the currency exchange world. Now, MetaMask is extremely trustworthy and obviously it's up with the blockchains like the Binance Smart Chain or the Avalanche Chain. Now, if you want to go ahead and add the newly infrastructure Solana blockchain to it, this video is going to take you on a ride and give you the information of if you can do it and what alternatives can you pick up for yourself. Now, Solana, as we all know, is the brand new blockchain that has entered the world by storm. Obviously, first of all, there used to be the Ethereum blockchain in the world of trading. But obviously, as the time grew on, we can see the new blockchains have come into the game because obviously the Ethereum blockchain was becoming a little obsolete with the time. And obviously, bringing new blockchains to the new traders of the world gives them new things to look forward to when it comes to trading. So if you're watching this, you're probably wondering how you're going to be adding the Solana network to your MetaMask wallet. Now, maybe you want to buy Solana based tokens, trade meme coins or get in some of that NFT hype. Now, MetaMask, as I told you, is one of the most popular crypto wallets out there. And a lot of people assume you can just plug in any network the same way you add the BSC Binance Smart Chain or Avalanche. But here's the sad catch, and this is going to surprise a lot of beginners. You cannot add Solana to MetaMask like you would an Ethereum compatible network. Now, you're probably wondering why. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it to you. Now, the reason why you can't add the Solana network to your MetaMask wallet is because Solana is not an EVM chain. And that's a fancy way of saying it doesn't speak the same language that Ethereum and MetaMask do. So let's break that down. Now, first of all, let's talk about the actual eco network or the ecosystem. Now, in the world of blockchains, you have different types of chains. Now, some of them are EVM compatible. So if I were to go over to my trust wallet, you can see over here that my trust wallet will give me a lot of different chains, but most of them are going to be EVM compatible. So as you can see, I have the Binance Smart Chain. Then even if we go into the search column, you can see I get the networks like Arbitrum, we get Bitcoin, we get different types of chains like Cardano and a lot more like Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Now, these chains are chains that are EVM. But then if you move over to Solana, now this is a chain that is not EVM. OK, now, again, you're probably wondering what all this EVM stuff is. Now, EVM means that they're built to work with Ethereum's technology. Now, that's why networks like Polygon, BSC, and Arbitrum can be added to MetaMask. They all use Ethereum's foundation. But Solana, it's doing its own thing. It's a completely different architecture. It's like trying to install an Android app on an iPhone. They're both smartphones, sure, but they're built very differently. So what happens when you try to add Solana to MetaMask? Well, you can't. There's no way to enter Solana's RPC or chain ID because those concepts don't even apply to Solana. MetaMask literally has no way to understand or process Solana transactions. Now, let me tell you about a little common misconceptions. Now, I know some of you are thinking, but I saw someone they had Solana in MetaMask. Now, here's what's really going on out there. They were most likely using wrapped Solana. Now, that's a version of Sol that exists on the Ethereum as an ERC-20 token, usually for cross-chain use. Now, platforms like Wormhole or Allbridge, if you haven't heard of them, they are bridge softwares that create a cross-bridge, and they let you move assets between Ethereum and Solana by wrapping them, okay? So you could have a WSOL on MetaMask, but that's not the real Solana network. That's a synthetic version that exists only on the ethereum blockchain think of it like sending someone a check instead of cash the check represents money but it's not real cash until it gets cashed in the same goes for wrapped tokens it's a representation not the real thing so what should you actually use instead now, what do you use if you want to interact with the actual Solana network? You need a native Solana wallet. And that's where this comes in. 
Now this beauty is called the Phantom Wallet. And honestly, this is the best for beginners. It's sleek, easy to set up, and it works just like MetaMask, but basically for Solana. There's also other, you know, uh, blockchains like Backpack, Soulflare, and others, but Phantom has become the MetaMask of Solana because of how intuitive it is. It has features like built-in token swaps. You can also get NFT staking, and dApp integration all designed for Solana's ecosystem. Now, if you're someone who loves using MetaMask and is super used to the Ethereum world, but now you want to try Solana, don't worry. There are ways to move assets across blockchains using bridges. So for example, use a tool like Wormhole. You can move your Ethereum or USDC from Ethereum to Solana and then use that on Phantom. You might also use Jupiter or Radium to trade Solana based tokens. But just remember, bridging is a bit more technical and can be risky. There have been huge bridge hacks and including Wormhole's infamous $300 million exploit in 2022. So do be cautious if you want to go ahead and bridge for yourself. Now, one more thing, since we're talking about wallets, never share your recovery phrase. Whether you're using Phantom, MetaMask, or any other wallet, these 12 or 24 word phrases are the sacred jewels that you have. If someone gets them, they can drain your wallet in seconds. And also be aware of fake sites, wallet extensions, and extra imitations that people create. So to wrap it up, no. You cannot add Solana to MetaMask. And the reason for that, it's non-EVM compatibility. Yes, you can use workarounds like wrap tokens or bridges, but they're complex and risky. So the best approach is just use a native wallet like the Phantom wallet, which is built from the ground up for Solana. And if you're new to Phantom, I've got a full tutorial ready for you. If you let me know down in the comments below, it will walk you through setting it up and sending Solana swapping tokens and much more. So, you know, that is basically to round it all up and, you know, to give you the main idea of the usage of Solana and the alternatives you can choose if you don't want to use MetaMask Wallet for yourself. Now, again, MetaMask has its benefits as well, but obviously this is one of the disadvantages that it does pose for you. And the disadvantages are that you can't really use the Solana blockchain on it. But again, that doesn't mean that it will not allow it in the future. Obviously, MetaMask is still a beta wallet so it keeps on adding more features so maybe there is one day that metamask will add this as a feature but for now you can use phantom wallet as your solana blockchain handler so if this video helped clear things up do make sure to hit that like button and if you're diving deeper into the solana ecosystem or meme coins make sure to subscribe because i've got much more videos coming that will save you hours of confusion and maybe even some money Drop your question in the comments and I'll do my best to answer or make a video about it. Stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.